Yo, what is good, guys? It's your boy, Kang. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. In this video, I was tasked to introduce you guys to a plugin called Non-Slicer. Now, Non-Slicer is a visualization tool that will allow you to set up your margins, not with guesswork, like we have to do right now in Unreal Engine. We have to go in and we have to guess okay, look, okay, maybe this is good. Maybe that's good. No, 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 no more of that guesswork. All right. We have a plugin that gives us a visualization tool that will allow us to place our margins for our images correctly. Normally, when you import an image into your widget blueprint, it will come in drawn as an image. Okay. Now an image is almost like saying, draw this as is. All right. And then if I scale it, Good luck. Okay. That's essentially what's happening here. So if I scale this, you can see like the, the shape starts to deteriorate on the side. This part is still stretched. This part is shrunk. Let me get closer so you guys can see that. Yeah. So this part maintained its uh, proportion here, but this part up here shrunk and it just doesn't look good. And just, let's just say that the way that I made it inside of Affinity Photo or Photoshop doesn't translate over to the way that it needs to look on my UI. I have to go back to Affinity Photo. I have to come back and go back, come back. So it gets kind of repetitive when you're trying to deal with UI in and outside of the editor. The solution to this would be to draw this image as a box and use the margins, which I'll reset here, use the margins to try to make this image maintain a proportion or tell this image, hey, only scale the points within these margins. Leave everything else the way it is as much as you can to a certain extent. Now we do that with the with this tool right here, this margin option right here. This lets you drag the margin. You can see as I drag this value, the the image kind of changes a little bit. So if I just drag this and it, essentially what we're doing right now is that guesswork I was talking about. And unfortunately, development cannot be guesswork, guys. So that is why the guys over at Out of the Box Plugin created Non-Slicer. Now you will need to install Non-Slicer, turn it on, enable it in the plugins. You do that with edit plugins. Let's go turn on nine slicer and make sure that this checkbox is checked okay and come on out of here and once you reopen your editor you'll have a new window option for the nine slicer window you can see oop, mine is docked already uh, it's pretty easy to dock you just you know usually it's dragged out like this it's a brand new window you can just you know drag the tab and dock that puppy wherever you want i can i could dock it over here if i want have it out of my way so that everything looks cool but i'm gonna put it up here and show you guys how this margin things work. So now you can use either or. You have the option to visually place these margins or you can use this to move your margins and say, okay, okay. Oh, I'm getting closer to the point because what if, what if you knew that you wanted only these parts of your image to scale with the actual scale of the size box? Now you can visually see, oh yeah, I'm right where I need to be. And you can definitely come over here and drag this with your hands. So it gives you a tool that lets you perfectly place your margins with no guesswork, right? So now we see with only this part of the image being scaled, even though the, the congrats is completely gone, we do have the thickness all equalized around the edges of this image. This is one of those niche tools where if you're working with the UMG, it's really helpful for you because this kind of guesswork takes a little bit of time to get right. And with these visualization markers here, you can just instantly drag where you need these to go. If you want to reset, you can hit this reset button and you'll reset the image back to where it is. You also can change the colors of these uh, visualization knobs here. Uh, so I like red because it's just, uh, I see red better. You can choose what you want. You're going to hit this button here, open up the settings, and you can change the precision placement of the decimals here. So if you want to have more decimal precision, this will add more decimal places to, to fine tune the placement of those knobs. So really helpful tool. If this plugin is something that you think will be useful to you in your workflow, I do have a link to it in the description below. For the next three days, I get a commission off of every purchase. So if you want to support the channel, 
go ahead and get you a copy of that. Help me out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a sponsored video. The guys that added the box plugins, uh, I received the plugin for free. I didn't take any payment or anything like that. I, I actually didn't want any payment. I told them I do it for free, man. Uh, I just want access to the plugin because I'm, I'm going to use it. <laughs> That's what I told him. But he offered me an opportunity to basically have an affiliate link so if you guys want to support the channel you want to support me and you see this and find this useful definitely hit that link in the description and i will see you guys in the next one peace